Hey everybody, we are here at Oak Mountain State Park in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, we are going to be hiking the Yellow Trail um, from the North Trailhead to the South Trailhead. Um, it's roughly eight miles. Um, I've got Billy with me today and my son, Chris. He is, there he is, look at my baby. Um, he is visiting from South Carolina, there's Billy. He looks like, he looks like that Rip Van Winkle guy that sleeps with your little stocking on your head. So, um, we are probably going to run into some rain today. It's already rained on us, um, coming into the park. It wasn't supposed to start raining until later. So, um, we're going to get wet, but, um, it'll be fun. It'll be nice and cool because it is hot out here. Um, so I will show y'all some scenes from the trail and give you a little bit more information on the park itself. Um, this is in the heart of Ala uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Um, there is multiple hiking trails. There are multiple um, mountain bike trails. Um, there's a beach and a swimming area, archery range, horseback riding, golf course. Um, it's, a, it's just a really good park here. So um, it's $5 per person to get in per day you can buy passes um there are there is camping you can do rv camping you can do um, primitive camping and they have backcountry camping um so you could actually hike into a site and um camp overnight i've done that a few times here uh the prices have gone up so it's a little pricier than what i like to pay um when all is said and done um to backcountry camp it's like 19 20 dollars per person per night it's it's to me, that's just too pricey. Um, so, eh, no camping. Um, not here anyway. So, uh, I will see y'all on the trail. And um, let's see what we've got in store for us today. Talked to a, another hiker that was coming down, got caught in some rain, and was ending his hike pretty much. Um, we've had a lot of rain and storms over the last couple weeks. Lots of blowdowns so far. Um, it looks like they've done some clearing and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, just a lot of blowdowns. Um, so... And it is starting to sprinkle on us. So we knew we were going to get wet. But uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, mushroom.
Oak Mountain is on the majority of their trails, they have these markers. And the markers are for, um, so it's kind of like a locator. So if you are hiking and let's say something happens and you have to call the park to say, you know, hey, something's happened to me. It's, it gives them a way to find you. So you can say, oh yeah, I just passed marker 82 on the yellow trail. So it's a good way for them to be able to kind of locate you if you're in distress or you need some help, if you get hurt. Um, so, sorry about the fast movement. Um, so it's a, it's a neat function of this. I don't know that I've seen too many trails that do that. Um, again, we're in a state park. Lots and lots and lots of um, people that come out here just the other day just to get out in nature, bring their kids, you know, introduction to hiking. A lot of people do that. Um, we've got a lot of trail runners that come out. Look at that tree. That's cool. That's not going to last through the next storm. But um, lots of trail runners that come out here. Um, and just run the trails. So let me tell you a little bit about the different trails that are out here. Um, I will maybe input a map if I think about it so that you can kind of see there's lots of, um, trails. Most of them you can do both mountain bike and hiking. There are a few that are, um, hiking only. And there are one or two that are mountain biking only, like the Lightning Trail. You can't hike on that um, because the the mountain bikers are going quite quickly. But um, and then some of the hiking only trails, um, they do that so people can, I guess, just hike without worrying about um, cyclists coming up on them. But you've got the Yellow Trail that goes. The length of the uh, the park from north end to south end and you've got the white that is supposed to be the hardest trail quote unquote the hardest trail in the park um, has the highest elevation in the park um, got like you know some rock scramble things like that nothing crazy um, you've got the blue trail the blue trail um, is also King's chair and King's Chair is a great, uh, about four, four and a half mile round trip that um, you can go up and it's just a beautiful view um, up there. So a lot of people do like sunrise hikes so they can hike up to the sunrise up there. Um, but, uh, and then around the lake, you've got like the lake trail, the family trail, um, you know, just some smaller trails, and a lot of them all will, you know, interconnect, so you've got the red road where most, um, there's a lot of mountain biking that will, you know, they'll ride down the red road, and, uh, a lot of the trails kind of interconnect with each other, so you can get, like, from the yellow up to the white if you wanted to, um, hike, like, from the north trailhead, you could hike up to the blue, or up the blue, connect over to the white and come back down um, to the yellow and get back to your car if you just wanted to do a loop instead of an out and back. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't always like out and backs. You know, you go out and you see the same thing coming back. So I'm not a big fan of out and backs, but you know, you do what you do when you want to hike. So, um, but yeah, Oak Mountain, like I said, is, it's a, it's a cool park. Um, but it's just a little pricey, in my opinion, to, to camp here. So we avoid camping here. We go other places.
are trying to figure out how far we've gone. We've not gone 1.3 miles. And even though my Garmin is not working right now because I hit the wrong button to start it, I know we haven't gone 1.3 miles because we haven't gotten to Maggie's Glen. Maggie's Glen is 1.3 miles into the hike. Keep that in mind. to 1.3 miles because we are now at Maggie's Garden. I can walk y'all into Maggie's Garden with me. Maggie's Glen. Um, I'm not sure who Maggie is or who it was named after, but um, this is like right next to some water. There's um, little benches. And um, they come out here. I don't think I got here. There's lots of rest outs like these down here. But I don't know what they come out here. They don't have a sign now. <clears throat> it's a reclamation area, so they do not allow hiking or camping, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, ooh, look at the pretty water. So, we are hiking the Yellow Trail. That's where we're going. So, like I was telling you um, in one of the previous videos, um, you can connect on different trails like this is the white and the yellow um, and then you have a yellow red connector so if we wanted to go over and like hike back on the red road we could go right here down this trail which is going to go right along this creek for a little bit um, and get back to the red road and then you can either go to the other end of the park to the south trailhead where we're going or you can go back to um, the north trailhead which is where we parked um, one of the cars so we we split the cars we um chris parked his car at the south trailhead we parked ours at the north and we're just gonna hike back to his car so i'm gonna try to swing y'all around sorry if i move too fast and this is maggie's glen
so we bailed. So we're going back the 1.3 because it has rained and it came really hard, really fast. It's been awesome. The only worry I have is my phone. Hopefully my phone has not gotten messed up. I'm on the GoPro. So we shall see when we get back. Um, yeah, it's been awesome. Really? So Billy has keen, keen walking, uh, hiking boots. <coughs> and he says his feet are totally dry. I, on the other hand, have Merrells. My feet are not dry. I have Nikes. Chris has Nikes. I believe his feet are quite wet as well. But you know what? A rainy day hiking is better than an amazing sunny day at work. You know, it don't matter. It is what it is. Okay, so we bailed. Um, <laughs> we are all soaking wet. I don't know if you can even tell. Um, Chris and I actually close the door. Chris and I actually talked about um, going back to his car, and there is a there is a trail that goes. It's called Peavine Falls. You can hike down it and actually see the falls, play in the water, all that kind of stuff. We got back to the car. Um, and it just, the bottom dropped out even harder and then the lightning started. So we and said, um, yeah, the wind, I don't know if you just saw that lightning or not. So we have decided, uh, it's probably not a good idea to hike to Peavine Falls in the lightning. So, uh, yeah, you know, um, my Merrells are not waterproof. They, um, they are like small swimming pools on my feet right now. Um. How are your Nikes? They're wet. Okay, great. Very wet. <laughs> and Billy said that he got some water. He feels like his socks are wet, but it doesn't feel like there's swimming pools in his shoes. So, um, you know, it was a great, fabulous day of hiking. It was fun, even though it was pouring down rain um, for the last mile and I think it's 1.3 miles because uh, it started raining really hard at Maggie's Glen. Um, and we just kind of basically hiked back from Maggie's Glen. So that was 1.3 miles. So we did two and a half. Um, you know, best laid plans, whatever. Um, we'll talk soon. Hey everybody, we're back. Um, as you can see, we are dry. Um, uh, great warm hot shower. It was really nice after being out on the trail and getting absolutely soaked. Uh, then driving back, we froze to death because if we didn't have the air on in the car, it was smoldering hot. So it just an overall really fun adventure of a day. Um, we, we only got about two and a half miles in. Good thing we didn't stay out on the trail. It really actually got very, very bad for a little while. The bottom just, just completely dropped. The rain actually got heavier. A lot of lightning, a lot of wind, a lot of thunder. Um, so it's a good thing that we, we stopped and, and didn't, continue on uh it could have it could have kind of maybe got a little messy for us the trail was a river um went from really no mud or wetness on the trail at all to ankle deep water in certain places so it was actually a lot of fun chris and i debated going up to the top of peavine falls hiking down to the falls and coming back up but the lightning and the thunder, it just, it was one of those that we said, you know, let's, let's save this one for another trip. So overall fun day. 
uh, we'll do it again. Um, even in the rain, it, I like to hike in the rain. It doesn't bother me to hike in the rain, but the lightning was a little more than I could handle. Uh, the Gossamer Gear um, phone pouch that I carry did a really good job considering how rainy it was. We didn't bring any like plastic bags to put anything in, didn't even think about it, um, unfortunately. So thankfully it is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it is water resistant. Um, the inside of the bag was just a, a little damp, but my phone did not get wet at all. So um, big thumbs up to Gossamer Gear on that one. Thank you very much. Uh, next time we will bring some Ziploc bags just in case. Uh, so, stand by for the next adventure. Um, maybe it'll be a little bit drier next time. See y'all soon.